So in the engineering program, all of our freshmen, they take an engineering explorations class. And in that class, we are choosing an engineering competition. So students picked between different options and some of our students picked the TSA competition. It stands for Technology Student Organization. And so students within a school or within a program can choose to submit projects within that competition. So this weekend, they're gonna be competing against other schools in the region. We came up with the idea, I think it was originally your dad, right? Yeah, yeah and he, he wanted like an automatic ketchup dispenser. He just thought we could make something that could automatically dispense ketchup onto your hot dog just because it was a creative idea. We didn't know of anything else on the market that was like it. Which there is actually, there's an uh, automatic dispenser, but it doesn't automatically move. It just, uh, you have to move the hot dog instead of just putting it in. So we came up with a belt system, kind of like a printer, to dispense the hot dog along the, or dispense the ketchup along the entire hot dog. So it's been a long process. We've been through like a bunch of design iterations, um, a bunch of different methods of making our box. Uh, so yeah, so it's been a pretty difficult month, but it's been pretty fun. I've just liked being hands-on and with the electronics and the wood and everything else, just really fun to do. So we had multiple students that chose to do the manufacturing competition. So they would turn in their project. We had a committee that judged all of the different projects and we chose these two students actually solely based on their design plan. So at the time we didn't even have a prototype because it was so intricate and so advanced. So we went completely off of their design plan. So it's interesting, when they actually submitted the project, um, they expressed fear that maybe they bit off more than they could chew. And we were just so excited about the idea that we said tackle it. So they definitely hit some roadblocks, but I've been so impressed with how many hours they've put in. I mean, after class, and they came in in the evenings with these mentors that came in to help them. So um, their process has been very up and down. Actually, last night, um, Elliot emailed me that he burned up his Arduino board. So he needed a new board this morning to kind of fix it. So it's been a lot of trial and error for them. Lots of skills using wood and him doing the electronics and coding. Yeah, lots of engineering yeah. experience, basically. Yeah, so I mean, I learned how to program everything. Uh, we worked pretty well together, so we were able to learn a lot. He learned a lot on the laser and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really fun working with him. Yeah, I mean, it's been a fun time. He's come over to my house a bunch to work on it. We've gotten to hang out. It's just a good experience, I feel like, yeah. Very excited, a little bit nervous. Hopefully we do really good and maybe make it to states.